It's like the nicest day of the year so far outside. So what better way to spend it than playing Boom Beach? Because we got the Rainmakers. So all that sunshine is going to have to wait because we are going to be doing Scorchers and um, Rainmakers. Forgot the name for a second, but we should be good. So one thing that is cool is Rainmakers are actually less expensive GBE-wise than Scorchers. So that is good to see, but... We are still going to be challenged here a bit GBE-wise. I'm not sure if I boost up my GBE statue or not. But let's hop into this first base here. And it, we're starting off easy because all the bases I've been attacking so far have prepared for the Rainmakers. Meaning a, a lot of boosted ice statues and grapplers. Which have been quite annoying. But uh, with, with Scorchers, uh, I, I don't think they really... I don't, I don't think these bases stand a chance. And the day of the week for the uh, temporary GBE ability is remote hack, which is very nice. Um, I almost just confused it for the Everspark ability, but that one's a universal remote. So I'm glad I didn't misspeak there. But um, yeah, we're able to take out Happy Boy onto the next base. All right, next base, we have a green base alert i kind of envy that gold production just temporarily because rainmakers are so expensive and i've actually been losing quite a few battles when i attack unboosted so we do not have much in the gold reserve so i i, I know gold production still kind of weak but it's like tempting um in a sense i shouldn't say i'm really tempted to uh, place down a green statue but you know it it, it won't be so bad right now to have it uh, based on my attack patterns with the Rainmakers at least but we're gonna make sure to get rid of the boom mines because we don't want any of our Rainmakers going over there and uh, yeah this base should be done done if if those green statues were ice statues we might have had some issues but this is like the first time using Scorchers and Rainmakers at this level because I tried it before and my statues were unboosted and I realized quickly I did not have the GBE to support it and when you only are able to place down like two boats of scorchers and two rainmakers um, against boosted ice you you slowly realize that you might be um, you, you might be screwing yourself out of an attack essentially um, because then you're just gonna lose those troops and then you can't place the rest down because you didn't get enough energy and then you lost a bunch of gold and you can't retrain and then you gotta wait a uh, few hours to get enough gold back or um, get lucky with Dr. T or something so you're able to make it back but so far it's been going smooth um, I think I had problems with this base yesterday no it, no I, I think I got rid of that base actually there was one pretty similar that I had trouble with but I think it had Rappelers that were uh, on me, but let's get a uh, remote hack onto the shock blaster that should get some uh, Good pathing going and then we are gonna get one on a boom cannon and hope it somehow turns Okay, it turned toward the HQ and the other boom cannons didn't give it a chance to really fire at all um, But I was hoping it would go for the shock launcher, but I guess with scorchers and rainmakers shock launchers aren't really the biggest threat because they uh, just the scorchers in general spread out so it is annoying to go against shock launchers or to have them like held up but look at that private bullet just walking into a boom mine but it's just it's not that big of a deal when you got the rain makers behind them destroying every building the scorchers set in fire and then the rain makers just absolutely terrorizing the base but I think uh, I, I think we can now just throw a bunch of artillery on that shield generator down it goes and we'll just get a flare on the HQ, even though all the Rainmakers are already attacking it. But Scorchers get a little bit extra damage. And down goes the HQ. So perfect attack so far. Well, I guess I did lose a Scorcher there. Not perfect, but uh, perfect for my standards, if uh, you want to call it that. Up to 1040 medals. I, I, I said on Spring Break I'd be on a medal push, but since the Rainmakers came out, my base has been getting... Uh, destroyed more than I can make up in metals which is quite tragic but I'm not complaining because it's really nice 
seeing people actually attacking in Boom Beach. It's like it's like uh, giving a little bit of stimulation in Boom Beach. Not a long-term fix, but I got faith in the Boom Beach team that they are working on something um, and not just planning for proto troop cycles in the future or the same old warship season in the future as well. We got a universal rem caught myself remote hack remote hack there we go we got him on both the grapplers i attacked this base yesterday i got destroyed unboosted i think i attacked it twice and both times i did not have full troops because i didn't have enough gold to do it so full boost full troops and we are destroying it and plus i don't think i had the remote hack at the time um whatever the uh, ability was yesterday or by the time we post this uh, two days ago was that's what it was but I'm already forgetting it must oh, wow we've lost all of our scorchers and I bet yep Kaban's dead but that should not this is like exactly ver verbatim how the other attacks went but uh, we didn't have as many rainmakers survive to this point um, but the rocket launchers just slowly started picking away and we might get another failure, which is a little bit sad, but I think we will get through it. The rock, like, just even having the troop health boosted helps quite a bit against these rock launchers. We're going to get a mech hit onto it. I hope they target one of the rock launchers because we, oh my gosh, they're just going for the HQ. Oh, we, we have enough for a shock on. That's kind of nice. Let's get a shock on to, I probably, well, I'm not sure. Uh... I was debating on throwing it for the other rocket launchers because this one was going to get taken out but then the rainmakers actually said nah we are not going to take it out and now we got to barrage the HQ and get a flare we took out another building but we do not have many rainmakers left I might go broke funding this strategy here like we built up a little bit of gold with the first attacks and then we finally attack a boosted ice phase and it's like old times old times there almost failing with the raymakers we lost a raymaker out of each boat and all my scorchers let's see over a million gold but we still have two million um in the reserve so if we fail two attacks um we might only have to spend like one diamond but i think we should be good here i failed this base too um just to note i did fail this one as well but i am feeling lucky Let's see if that feeling will uh, preside here. Let's get our troops down. And what I'm going to do, can we thread it? Yes, we can. We got both the uh, shock blaster and the grappler. I swear I just saw the grappler turn while I was shocked. Gave me a little bit of a heart attack there. But we got a universal remote remote hack on the back grappler. See, I was so proud of myself for saying the right one right away and then ever since then it's just been not saying the right one and that's quite frustrating but um it's all right we will we will uh take it as we go let's let's get another revive out we need the scorchers alive that is one thing i have learned with this and i don't think it's looking better than when i was attacking it yesterday but there is still a chance we are gonna get demolished here and that is not a good feeling let's get a shock onto the boom cannons and i should probably regroup group flare but i want these boom cannons taken out and then we will regroup and we do not have enough uh, gbe for really anything but the remote hack will go on the boom cannon boom cannon has the priority he's going straight for the gold there that was awesome and it's gonna get nope it did not get a hit on the hq unfortunately but why does it feel like the boom cannon shred my scorchers but as soon as they go for regular defenses all of a sudden they're like that they, they actually don't want to take it out they're just like tickling a gold storage like you would think a gold storage would get one shotted by a boom cannon um, but maybe with the remote hack there is a damage decrease to buildings or on the flip side maybe Gold storages just have quite a bit of health relative to what boom cannons do in damage. But we are going to get through this finally. You know, coming back to these bases that embarrassed me yesterday. Um, I was just being nice yesterday, giving all these people diamonds. But, you know, coming back to them, finally destroying them. 
it's it's pretty peaceful and it makes me feel less bad about staying inside and playing boom beach on such a nice day um don't worry right after this i'm gonna i'm gonna go absorb it because how many like i think it's almost 70 degrees how many 70 degree days in wisconsin do you get in the month of march now in the summer i'm i'm, I'm gonna be like craving the cold temperatures because i'm like that but right now this is like the perfect temperature actually like what for some reason when summer hits and then it, it's in like the 60s or low 70s it's like too cold but as soon as you get like a 40 50 degree day during the winter you're like shorts and short sleeve shirt and all that but i guess it's all just uh what you're used to what the uh, status quo temperature is for the current month but uh, are we are we bleeding here i i'm not liking the way this is looking um i'm gonna get one on the grappler grappler the shock blaster there i want it just does so much damage i was hoping i would turn and somehow you know get like a weird um ai as like my rainmakers do and somehow targets the like boom cannon or rocket launcher behind them but we are going to get through this that is good they cleaned up pretty well here but these attacks they're getting a little shaky not gonna lie like rainmakers are good and all they do quite a bit of damage but when you get them exposed to uh rocket launchers that have quite a bit of damage or um all that they they get melted pretty quickly but i think we have one more base to get to and then it'll be a full map clear and that is going to be so nice. Eight Scorchers lost. Um, man, this strategy is just... It is just depleting my gold. Um, but I think we're ending on an easy base here. Level 68, I don't see the ice statues. And we got quite a few easy low-level buildings to get through at the start there. And then we can probably invest that in remote hack. Wow, I almost just missed... Uh, I, I almost just missed hitting that boom cannon. I almost hit the flamethrower instead, but that's what happens when you uh, when you have a shaky hand and when you're fully zoomed out trying to thread abilities. But look at all this gold return, or gold return, energy return. We are just throwing so many remote hacks, and that's all we really need for this attack. I'll get a flare in the HQ, and we'll go back to base and see if we can get an upgrade. I'm hoping we do, but since it's like that time in Boom Beach where everyone's actually attacking with a good proto troop, um, a lot of the bases have not been on the heavy side of the loot, and would you look at that, we <laughs> we don't even have uh, um, 3 million stones, so I don't think uh, any upgrades are going to... Um, are going to be affordable here. I could spend diamonds. I wish, I wish, I, I collected the resource boat earlier today, so that would be negligible. Uh, but yeah, that was the map clear scorchers and rainmakers. Hopefully I don't wake up to 48 different people raiding my base, but it is a possibility because rainmakers, uh, they, they get people to attack. But thanks for making it to the end. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.